A total of six witnesses took the stand Tuesday, with the last of them expected to be completed Wednesday. The sixth witness eventually burst into tears halfway into his testimony when he narrated how two of his close relatives were killed one after the other only because they complained to Ekamok soldiers about the killing of one of their king's men previously. The government lined up witnesses in a way one can predict they are at their game. Having picked up from where they left last Thursday, then bringing in another witness who talked about how he saw Jabate commit many atrocities, including the punishing of two men and eventually cut off the ear of one of them on the Jungle Jabba Bridge in Bapulu County. The witness showed the gash in his head where his ear had been cut off. A pair of siblings, a brother and sister, took the stand. The man said he had been carrying a half bag of rice when he met Jabate's soldiers. They allegedly gashed the boy's shoulder with a bent knife and took the rice. The boy ran to his father, who eventually went to confront Jabate, who then sent the boy away and ordered his father's script naked, tied and beaten to death. The daughter then came to confront Jabate and he ordered her ripped by four of his soldiers, allegedly. The jury was shown how she was beaten, bruised and shot at between the legs before ripped and some of the marks were visible. Defense lawyer Gregory Pagano struggled to plant doubt in the minds of the jury by painting a picture that the witnesses have never told any Liberian authority of their ordeal till the U.S. government went into Liberia to ask whether this is going to help his client, the end of the trial will tell. The witnesses most times answered by telling him the government of Liberia would have made no difference. More witnesses are expected to take the stand Wednesday. A total of 20 witnesses have been flown in from Liberia to testify against the defendant over the four weeks of the trial. The defense witnesses are likely to testify from the American embassy in Monrovia because of difficulty getting passports. Jabate faces 30 years in a U.S. prison if convicted. For new narratives, I'm T.T. Jibro reporting from Philadelphia.